Welcome to Reality Recap, powered by Crosscom. I'm your host, Shane Norris. We're breaking down some of the top stories in the world of augmented and virtual reality today. How can a brain computer help Snap drive AR development? Can immersive tech help lower vaccine hesitancy? And how does AR, a bear, a hospital, equal happy kids? Join me to find out. First up, Snap. The company behind Snapchat recently acquired a neurotech startup called NextMind. They're behind a cool headband that allows a wearer to control different aspects of a computer or mobile device with their brain waves. This makes a ton of sense for Snap. They're all over the AR game, and other tech companies like them, like Meta and Apple and Google, are looking for ways to simplify how we'll interface with AR hardware in the near future. Now, our experts here at Crosscom are really excited for this. They say this is the next logical step as augmented reality linked to a phone or controlled by hand gestures or voice commands causes a lot of discord with people and the things around them. No one wants to listen to you voice command everything when you're in a busy room. Now, one of our developers has actually worked with a similar technology that only targeted the prefrontal cortex. This device targets the visual cortex as well, and he says that's the big ticket for augmented reality. Now, this provides a lot of promise for overcoming that and creating a seamless brain-to-computer interface. All right, next up, while it seems like the COVID-19 pandemic slowly is shifting towards an endemic stage, vaccination status is still a hot topic of discussion in the United States and around the world. So that's driving researchers to look for ways to lower hesitancy for vaccines of all infectious diseases. Now, some are turning to immersive tech to couple empathy with information, including a new scientific report study using a gamified experience in which participants put on an Oculus Quest 2 headset and are dropped into a public park as as an older character that is vulnerable to COVID-19. They were randomly assigned one of two roles, either avoid spreading or avoid becoming infected, and they had several different tasks that helped that they had to perform throughout the course of the game. Now, pre- and post-game surveys found 9.3 points of improvement in vaccination intention. Our experts have some concern about how easy it would be to apply this method to a population that might be openly hesitant about getting vaccines in the first place, but it is exciting to see an increase in studies using virtual reality for empathetic teaching, and not only how we use technology, but the ways that technology has the potential to use or change us. All right. Last up, the bear, the kids, the hospital, we're moving to California where the Children's Health of Orange County has a mascot, a bear named Choco. He's now the star of an augmented reality tablet-based app for children undergoing MRI exams. This is awesome stuff. So the app is similar to Pokemon Go. Patients pull it up on a tablet. They watch Choco lead them all around the radiology department, explain their procedure, where things are, who their different doctors are, and what they're going to undergo during their visit. At one point, Choco can even get his own scan. It's a win-win because the kids are less anxious, and whether that's from claustrophobia or scared or fear of what's going on, and now the medical staff has calmer patients, which makes imaging easier. So everyone comes out on top, not a lot to analyze here, just another great example of how augmented and virtual reality can be powerful tools to convey information and do it compassionately. All right, that wraps up this episode of Reality Recap powered by Crosscom. As always, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps us keep making content like this. And if you're interested in creating immersive apps with us here at Crosscom, you can email us at hello at Crosscom with two M's dot com or head over to our website, Crosscom.com. Be good.